All right, everybody, Ray Dunn here. Um, I am uh, I am honored tonight to be joined by the one and only Mr. Al Gates. Um, welcome to uh, what we're about to do here tonight, Al. Well, Ray, thank you very much for the introduction. It's always nice to know that I am the one and only. The one and only yeah. Al Gates. You're not just the one and only here in uh, with me. I mean, you're also the one and only in Mount A. And I'm sure at some point we'll talk about that game at some point in the future. But you're the one and only Al Gates. I mean, that doesn't change. And favorite. <laughs> and favorite. <laughs> All right. So here's what we're doing here tonight. I mean, Al, it's been a long time since we've been on a football field working a game. I know you're crazy busy right now. Do you want to just give us an update? What's going on in the football world? What are you busy with right now? Over the last, well, basically 12 months, I've been involved with a group of guys from across the country uh, preparing the national exam, the CFOA exam. Uh, a group of us from that, that group are now in the process of editing, rewriting the uh, Canadian Amateur Rulebook. Um, this opportunity that you're putting together um, and just staying on top top of all of the stuff happening behind the scenes non-field stuff so it's kept me in touch with football but it's not quite the same as being actively involved actively. in football yeah and so listen i mean we don't know what 2021 is going to hold if there's going to be any football whatsoever with covid i mean hopefully things are going in the right direction we've got uh you know, we've got shots that are supposed to be coming out across Canada now, vaccine. And, and uh, so we don't know what to expect, but I think it's important that we prepare that football is going to take place. Um, there is talks that the MFL is a green light right now. And if they're a green light out, you know, uh, minor football across the province will probably be a green light as well. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm optimistic that we will see something happen in the spring. It may not be the typical football that we're used to. It might be reduced numbers and so on, but yeah. uh, fingers are crossed that uh, springtime we'll see the MFL on the field. And then as we roll into the summer, we'll see age group stuff and uh, prep, prep for the fall seasons. So that's what these videos are all about. We are gonna be breaking down uh, passing, punt, kicking plays, running plays. We're going to be breaking these plays down. And the key thing is we're going to talk about these plays uh, pre-snap, during the play, and post-play, uh, you know, post what we should be doing as officials, the different types of communication we should be running on the field. Um, at some point now, we're going to invite some local experts to join us um, and talk about really dig into the specific positions on the field rather than just talk about it from a crew perspective. Yeah. But tonight it's you and I, and we are going to be breaking down a play between uh, Harrison Tremble and the Tantramire Titans. Um, and uh, it's, it's in a five man system. So most of our officials across New Brunswick will be able to relate with this play and let's bring it up and have a look. So let's just bring this up here. Here's our first play. So before we even get into it, Al, let's, I, what I want to talk about tonight is let's put you in that white hat position, okay? Um, in this video, we curr it's, it's currently uh, Mr. Bill Pickerel at the referee position, but I want to put you under that white hat tonight. Right off the bat, um, let's talk about some of the things that you're looking for before this play even takes place. So as, as a crew chief for the referee in the game, there's some things that I'm looking at, but, uh, hopefully there's each guy on the crew. There's hints that we see based on the alignment of team a, the offense and on team B, the defense, uh, where the receivers are, where, where the ball's placed on the field. Are we on the uh, boundary side in this case? Or are we field side? Uh, and we try and gather as many hints as we can that might lead us to having a pretty good guess of what the play is going to be. So in this play, we have a situation where as a referee, I know it's second down and about six to go. We are on the hash mark uh, on this side of the field, meaning the low side of the field. Yeah. 
Uh, and if you take a quick look at the alignment, it's fairly balanced. We have two wide receivers on each side, two guys in the backfield. Uh, and the defensive alignment is basically a 4-4 right now. So prior to this play going, myself as a referee and my umpire, who's out of the picture here, but you'll see him slide in in a moment, will have communicated with each other basically about we're ready to go and that we have the right number of players on the field. The two sideline guys, uh, number seven on this side of the field and his counterpart on the far side, will have communicated about uh, who's the free official, who's the held official based on where they are in the field. And hopefully those two guys have communicated with their, their uh, field judge, the deep official, about who is free and held. All of those little pieces of information are key before the play goes so that we all know what's my area of responsibility, what am I looking for, and on top of it from our clues, hopefully give us an idea of what type of play might be run. Just from, uh, let's break it down to this to counting. Counting is a big thing as an official. So um, as the referee, who are you counting on this, on this play? I have the offense. You have the offense. Now we've changed it in New Brunswick a couple of times. What sideline guy is counting who? Okay. So in New Brunswick, we, there was discussion about us going to a different counting format than they follow across the country. Right. That was never approved. So right now, what we do is the headlinesman counts the home team. Okay. So in this case, it would be uh, Harrison Trimble. The line judge, the gentleman on the far side of the field, would be counting the visiting team, Tantramark. Along with, along with the with the deep official as well. Correct. Yeah. Right. So the, the line judge and the deep official, the field judge, uh, both count the defense. The referee and the umpire have the offense. And we have the third guy, uh, the headlinesman, or the down, down judge now, counting the offense also. Okay. All right. So let's talk about the teams themselves. This basic, I mean, it's a basic offensive formation, nothing crazy here. Like you said, one, you know, one end on each side of the line of scrimmage with some guys in the backfield defense looks like they're in a base package. Is there anything that stands out on this that makes you, you know, is there any reads that you're getting off, off this formation right now? At this point in time, Based on the fact that it's second down and long, there's a pretty good chance that it could be a passing play okay. based on down and distance. The other thing that, that comes into play, Ray, with, with refereeing, we're fortunate here in New Brunswick, we see a lot of the teams over and over, is that we have ideas about how the team plays. So we know that there are teams in, in our province who – are predominantly a run team. And there are other teams that are pass team. And then we have some that are middle of both. So based on the hints that I have right now, the quarterback's in a, if you want to call it a pistol formation, we have guys balanced out in the and down in distance. I'm leaning towards the idea that this may be a pass play. Not okay. a guarantee, but that's a hint. No guarantee. All right. So um, one other thing, and it's a little bit different in a five-man system versus a seven man system, for example, but off the snap of the ball, um, let's just talk about keys for, for example, what is number seven looking for prior to this or at the snap of the ball? What is number seven looking for as the held official? Because he would be, no, sorry. He'd no, he's be free. free. Yeah. He'd be the free official. So what is he looking for at the snap of the ball? He's going to take a quick look. He's going to freeze until the ball snap, take a quick look and react to the play. So if his receiver, not that he has a man coverage, but if the receiver standing in front of him takes off downfield on pass, he's going to release down the sideline and go three, five, seven steps to see what's happening. If it breaks out that it's going to be a pass play, he goes long because he has that whole sideline all the way to the goal line. Right. So his first couple of steps are sidestep, see what's happening, and then react to the play. And the official cross the field, he's basically going to be holding that line of scrimmage till the ball goes with him across the line of scrimmage. Correct. Correct? Yeah. All right. So let's run this play, um, and we'll uh, let's see what takes place here in the first few seconds of this play here.
I just want to stop it there for a second, Al. One of the best tips I was ever given as a sideline official um, when I, when I came up uh, through the ranks is your tackles, follow your tackles as a sideline official. They never lie to you. They tell you what the play is going to be. So I just want to back that up for a second, because if we watch the tackles on both sides of the line, their first step is backwards. Yeah. So right off the bat, I know that's going to be a passing play and I can release downfield. Just before you go on, Ray, the problem, and this isn't a problem, as you go up in levels of play, those hints like the one you just gave, the interior linemen don't ne necessarily lie to you. Right. Especially well-coached interior linemen. They're, they're going to drop step if it's a pass play. They're going to attack block if it's a run play and so on. The lower levels... That's not necessarily true. So you have to be cautious. But mm -hmm. as I say, as you go up in levels, there's, again, those hints that help you out to react. Yeah. All right. So let's play the rest of this. Let's, let's watch the play in full, and then we'll, we'll break it down from there. Okay. So let's watch this play. There's your pass. We have an interception by Tanchmar. And the play comes to an end. All right. So let's, let's take that back to the, let's take this, let's take a look at this shot at the interception point. Okay. Let's, let's, whoops. I missed my pause button. All right. So here's, so here we go. The ball, it, we, we now have a, turnover you can see our back official is pointing the opposite way signaling that we have a turnover here what are you now as the white hat what are you looking for your crew from downfield to protect me make protect sure i don't get run over <laughs> basically i at this point in time when the ball's being intercepted intercepted i really don't know anything that's happening but the, the field judge here has indicated to the side guys who have come down the field and the umpire who has now turned to look at the play that the ball's coming back. And then we're all going to start to react and pick the play up coming the opposite direction. So in this situation, we need to know who's got the blocking, who's got the ball, uh, who's covering stuff away from the ball. I'm not sure if this video helps us very much, but you can see seven here is coming to a stop because he's picked up the fact that the ball's been turned over. He's going to turn, go opposite direction. He has that sideline all the way to the end of the other end of the field. Field judge is coming up because now the field judge has basically become the referee. Right. He's going to play up from behind. And hopefully the sideline official on the far side, since the play has come this side, has moved into the center of the field a bit to help pick up on stuff happening in and around him. Right. Let's watch the rest of the play here. He comes down along the sideline. Tackle is made, and here comes in the crew. To Good job by number seven here. Did you see uh, number seven there? Uh, let's just take a stop here. So good job by number seven here. He came in. He gets the spot. Very good spot. Yeah. Makes makes your first down signal for you, Al. So yeah. you know right away as an official, you've got a first down going the other way. Yeah. And if you just take a look at the far side of the field, like I mentioned earlier, our sideline guy on the far side of the field has come in so that his, his presence is there. A, a key that uh, one of our elder statesmen taught a number of years ago was that if you're a f center field official, so in this case, it'd be the field judge who's come over to the sideline, towards the sideline here, the gentleman who's on the 45 yard line and the referee, we always tend to, or try to as much as we can, officiate from the inside out mm. and allow the sideline guys to referee from the outside in. So we keep the play boxed in. And in this situation, you have seven and the field judge had the play all boxed in in front of him. 
the other three officials are coming in and sweeping up and watching for any foolishness going on. Yeah, and it, it and it looks in this plate when you look at it, there wasn't doesn't look like there's any foolishness going on there. But I mean, you can obviously see we've got a presence um, around this play that if anything does happen, we're right there to put an end to it pretty quick. Correct. Yeah. Right. All right. Well, that's our first play. I will watch it one more time from start to finish. Let's watch it one more time. There you go. That was a very well officiated play. Um, we can't see, we can't see it out, but um, the referee comes off camera here as the referee um, on a play like that. What, what actions are you taking as the referee? Are, are you staying in the center of the field, backing up kind of like that field judge? What, what are you, how are you handling that as a referee? You mean as the play starts, Ray, or no, as 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 that interception's made and now it's coming back your way, where 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 are you on the field as as the white hat? I'm going to stay close to the center of the field, like the referee is right here, and I'm going to be turning in case I need to bust my backside down to the other end in case this breaks through. I'm not going to bail out quickly. I'm going to stay close to where I am, let the play come towards me, and then react and and uh, and go with the play if needed. Awesome. So in this case, once the ball's come dead over here in about the 45 yard line, all five officials making sure nobody stays behind them will move towards where the ball's gone dead. Once we reset, we get, we realign ourselves and away we go. There you go. That's it, Al, that was pretty quick and simple. That's our first play breakdown of uh, this little series that we're gonna do. You'll be able to find these videos up on the MBFOA uh, Facebook page. Um, and if you're not a uh, Facebook user, like some of our uh, members, uh, don't wanna call anybody out like Mr. Bubar, but uh, you know, for those that aren't on Facebook, now's the time to get on Facebook. And uh, please leave your comments. Like if you're, if you're an official that works a lot of the sideline or a lot of the deep position on this type of play, give us your thoughts on this play. Let us know in the comments, uh, you know, things you're looking for pre-snap, post, uh, post play, during the play. Sharing, sharing information is, uh, you know, what, what we're trying to do here, right Al? Exactly, exactly. Critique is very positive. If it's done positively, yeah. But it's also to keep in mind that a lot of times, some of us don't work those positions as often as other guys. So right. when we when we go over this play, there's probably some some things that we've left off, yeah. That that are beneficial to add. And I just want to mention too, we this is these teaching videos. We are going to be doing different style videos too. We will be doing seven man positioning out. So that the members of our, you know, the members of the MBFOA that haven't had an opportunity to work the seven man yet, um, have an opportunity to learn it in film like this. Uh, so they're more prepared when they get into that position or same exactly. with the six, six man crew as well. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right, Gates. I think this first video was a success. I'll uh, end this video now and we will, uh, you know, make it all pretty and get it out to the social media. Thanks again for joining. Perfect. Cheers.